Thank you, Rizzo. I am here to demonstrate uh, my solidarity with all of you that have been so courageous across the border. You have demonstrated something that we do not see very often in the Sifford community, that there is a will, there is determination, and where there is a will, there is a way. And what I'd like to say is that the reunification of our country does not merely de de depend on political determination, depends on people, depends on the will of people, depends on the determination of the people. And unless we show that determination, unless we demonstrate on both sides of this divide that we want our country to be reunited and show that determination at the level of the society, then we will not be able to build a peaceful coexistence. And I think no political settlement can actually be sustainable without the societal strongest support. And what you've done yesterday in the North, under very, very austere conditions, is merely admirable. And I want to congratulate you on that. And this is a message for people also in the South that think that there are no determined people in the North. In the, in the North, people actually are suffering the consequences of the partition. People are suffering the consequences of the demographic change. People in the North are sending a strong message to their compatriots in the South. Do something and do it quick. Unless you do that, we will not find a common future for our country. And I want to really uh, reiterate my strongest position that I will lead the people and not be led by the people. I will lead the people. I will lead the people. I will lead and develop courage, develop hope, and unless we do that, we will not be able to reunite our country. So I am with you all, and if people decide next week, next Sunday, that we will be leading both communities, this cause will be the cause for reunification. Thank you very much. <laughs>